Our guests today are here from Long Home Products, Katie DePaula, fourth generation at Long Home Products, a family owned business, and Evan Green, a roofing product specialist at Long. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Of course, so today we are talking about roofs. It's a very important topic, especially for homeowners. But other than leaks, what should we be looking out for? Well, let's talk about leaks for a second okay. because a lot of times we think that when we find out we have a roof problem, we're mm -hmm. gonna have like a waterfall come from the ceiling. Yeah. And the reality is, is that rarely happens. Okay. There are usually smaller leaks, staining, even smells or outdoor things that Evan's gonna talk about that can be indicators of much bigger problems. Oh geez, okay, so what bigger problems are we talking about? So I would think the best place to really start looking is in your attic. Mm -hmm. You can find a lot of indicators of problems that are developing there. Look to see if your insulation is discoloring. That can be a sign that water is getting in. Uh, maybe there's some staining on the sheathing or on the rafters, or if you notice rust in the nails of how the sheathing is nailed into the, uh, into the roof. Mm -hmm. um, outside, uh, you should be looking at if the valleys are starting to come apart, if shingles are lifting or if they're cracked, if there's a lot of grit and granules in the gutters. Mm. Those things are indicators that the roof is starting to fail or really show its age. Okay. So when people start seeing all of these signs, what should they do? They should definitely call Long Roofing yeah. <laughs> and, uh, or visit us online at longroofing.com. And what can you guys do to help them? We would send an expert to their house to assess their situation. They'd go around the property. They'd identify issues that really need to be addressed. They'd look into their attic, determine if the attic is venting properly, what we need to do to make sure that it's venting so there doesn't end up being a mold problem or a mildew problem in the attic. These are the things that we do. Yeah, I really like that you guys get to the source of the problem yeah. rather than just kind of covering up a problem. Yeah, I think another thing that's important to mention is that some of us don't want to go up into our attic. Right, right? I'm or, not about to do right? that. <laughs> <laughs> or we're not going to get out a ladder and look at the house from the outside. And if, you, if, you're not, if that's not something you're used to doing, mm -hmm. please don't do it. We're not recommending that. And that's why we can come out and actually do it for you. So if you suspect that there's a problem, if you see any kind of cracks, any kind of stainings, it could be a tiny little just discoloration on the ceiling yeah. or maybe even just a musty smell, mm. that can be an indicator that something bigger is going on. Some people are gonna feel comfortable going up to their attic to explore and fig you know, get Figure to the bottom out. of yeah. it, right? And then some people will notice something lifting on the roof, right? Mm. So your tiles shouldn't be warping or moving. They should all be laying very, very neatly and flat. But if you're not seeing that, but you have a sense that something else is going on, or you see a small leak, or you see a small crack, or a small stain, or again, the smell, make sure you give us a call. Absolutely. So once again, for anyone that wants your help, where can they go? Go to longroofing.com, and you can have us come out and schedule that estimate today. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.